this video is an overview of Moodle 2 and to go over some of the settings. So this is what Moodle 2 looks like. I have some things on it so it might be more blank when you look at yours. You'll see over here is a navigation block. In it it has your home page and some of your sites that you might have if you drop it down. You would use these drop downs to look at things. One thing I really want to point out is under your profile that's where you'll find your private files. Setting up your files is really important. It is unique in Moodle 2 because you can access your files from any of your courses instead of having to upload the same document to different courses. It can be in your file system. You can see more of a view of how I set up my files here. So I have it by the courses that I teach and within those courses are separate folders. For instance, they might have documents, images, it might have videos. There's lots of different things you might see within the course. Here are a list of my courses where I can look at participants and the topics are the different blocks that I have. I'm going to just pull that up to make it easy. I wanted to show you this. There's a docking feature where you can move it to the dock or you can hide it. So if you move it to dock, this is what's going to happen. You'll see it over here. You can hover over it and it has kind of a fly out menu. But I don't really love the docking so I'm putting mine back where I want it. I just wanted to show you that feature. Here we have course settings. So if you wanted to look into your course settings, this is where you would go. Uh, you have turning your editing off and this is where you would edit the settings. This is where you can change the number of blocks. So I'm going to go in to show you that. The name has already been taken care of. You can add a course summary if you'd like, but I, I have mine in topics topic format. So that's like block one, block two. Weekly format shows it by date, date range. I like to control my date range. Then I also wanted to point out here, if you don't have enough blocks, if you drop that down, you can add in more blocks. It's a good idea to keep the blocks to the amount of weeks you're going to have instruction with. There being the intro block, which is the main block, which is not numbered or dated. And then the rest of the blocks, which each block would have an instructional content area. Here you'll see that I have the maximum upload of 100 megabytes in case I need to with one of my activities as my students do tend to have to do things like videos and those are uh, those, those weigh a lot as far as data is concerned. So that's all you really need to know about the settings if you decide you want to change into topic format or increase your number of blocks. To get back to my course I can just click on the breadcrumbs right here edu 244. So there is that some of the settings. Um, you can get to your question bank here if you want to add some, um, add some to your quiz questions. You have your quick mail down here. These are all my blocks. As I scroll down, you'll see topic six, and then I have an overview of what will be taught. I include, this is one I add in, which is my information on the right. So it's my instructor information that they can use and I have my private files here on the right as well. Those are things that you can add. Um, to get this, I added an HTML block, so if you drop this, you could do HTML. But there are lots of different things you can add into this particular block.